This screencast is on the business cycle. We're going to be looking at the four different points of the business cycle, the two phases of the business cycle, and the impact that the business cycle has during these phases on GDP, unemployment, and inflation. So it's first best to remember what GDP is about, and this is the final goods and services that are produced in a given year in an economy. And what we're looking at is what is going on with your real GDP or your total GDP. And so during the um, business cycle, the saying what goes up must come down definitely comes into play when you're thinking about it. What an economist wants to see happen is that the rise up is not any larger or smaller than the fall down. You want to try to keep everything about the same. That's the goal. Because there's no way of defining that these things are going to happen. It's just trying to make them not be in extreme situations. So when you're looking at the different parts of a business cycle, you have your low point and you have your high point. The low point, where GDP has hit its bottom before it starts to rise, is called the trough. The trough is always happening in between the two different phases of the business cycle. The other one that separates the two phases is the peak. And the peak is at the top here, and this is where GDP has, has hit its highest point, and then GDP will start to drop. And again, it's not bad that GDP is going down. It's just a matter of trying to keep it going um, at the same amount that it has expanded by. When we're looking at the other two phases, and these are the ones that you want to make sure that you know the meaning of, and then eventually what is going on with unemployment and inflation through in GDP during these times. The first one here is this recovery or expansion phase. And with this, what you have is GDP is rising, okay? It has gone up. It doesn't mean that the percentage that it goes up from maybe one month to a next or every three months, if that's how you're looking at it, it doesn't mean that it increases at an increasing rate. It just means that GDP continues to go up and grow. It gets larger and larger. So this is the recovery and the expansion phase. Eventually, you hit a point where it's at its peak. And the only thing that it can do after the peak is it can start to go down. This is known as the contraction or recessionary phase. I think it is best to utilize the term contraction because the definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters, which a quarter is three months, so two consecutive quarters of negative GDP, where GDP is decreasing. So this here could just be one quarter. It could be three months. And that's where if you say that this is a recession, you're incorrect in your definition. You have to use the term recessionary phase. So sometimes it's safest to just get in your mind using contraction. And a lot of times on the AP exam, this is what they choose to use also for that same reason of not wanting to confuse. So in here what you see is that GDP is decreasing. It's going down. GDP is negative is what is happening during these different um, times in the calendar year. So usually we're looking at every three months is where you're looking at how things are shown and graphed out. Eventually, this decrease in GDP, the final goods and services that are being produced by an economy, will hit its lowest point. And again, what goes down must come up. And so after you've hit that low point, that trough, you will then start to have that recovery or the expansionary phase. So the peak is the point where GDP stops growing, and then the trough is where GDP has stopped decreasing and now will start to become positive. So let's look at these periods now with the expansionary recovery phase first and what is going on with our three leading economic indicators of GDP, unemployment, and inflation. So this graph tells you what's going on with GDP. During the expansion or recovery period or phase, this is where GDP is increasing. 
And this means that things are good. It means that we're producing more. That either within, um, hopefully, our own borders, people are buying more, or maybe even other countries are importing more, which is causing us to have to export. And so, for whatever reason, our final goods and services, we are selling more and more of them. So when you think about what's going on with unemployment, that should then lead you to understand that when GDP is rising, that means that unemployment is going down. They'll never, um, they don't ask you about, well, what's happening with employment? They're asking about unemployment. And so that's where you need to recognize that term when it's being used and that it's going down. So they, they have an inverse relationship, GDP and unemployment. GDP is going up and unemployment is going down. The other one, the other leading economic indicator to look at is inflation. And this is a general increase in the price level. And so if people are buying more, that means that demand is up. And so if there's an increase in demand, that means that there's an increase in the prices of goods. And so um, inflation is rising. And so what we are trying to combat when you have this expansionary recovery phase, when the government gets involved, is that during this time there had to have been a time where people weren't working as much, and so they wanted to com combat unemployment, so they will do things in order to be able to have more jobs available. But the thing to watch out for is that you don't want to have prices rise at too high of a rate. So during the expansionary recovery phase, GDP is going up, unemployment is going down, and inflation is going up. So the other phase, after we've gone up with that expansionary recovery, we hit the peak, what goes up must come down, you then get into the contraction or recessionary phase. So in this contractionary phase, what you have here is you have GDP going down because negative GDP is happening. We're not necessarily saying we're in a recession because I haven't said it's been two consecutive quarters or six months of negative GDP. It's just that GDP is going down. It's negative. It's decreasing. And so that means that our final goods and services, we're not having as many. So what do you think is happening with unemployment? Do you think that we're hiring more people or do you think that their businesses are laying off people? Businesses are starting to lay off people because the final goods and services aren't being demanded. And so as a result then, you have an increase in unemployment. Again, there is um, an opposite relationship between GDP and unemployment. Whereas with inflation, inflation is going down. And so this general increase in the price level, because you have a decrease in demand, then what you have then is that prices are not rising, but rather they are going down. So GDP and inflation, again, have a positive relationship. And when GDP is going down in this contractionary phase, then you have unemployment going up and you have inflation going down.